at the house here of Warren Buffett, one of the richest billionaires in the world. He bought this house in 1958. One of the reasons most people are caught in the financial matrix is they don't teach you in school you should invest in things that don't depreciate, you know? So he does have a house, and house is real estate, so it's somewhat good investment, but most of it, he makes $200 billion a year cash flow. Um, not all net, but he makes that investing in businesses. He does some real estate. That's what you gotta do. Or else, like I said, people trapped in the financial matrix. The financial matrix is basically where you work for somebody and you never break free. So you're like this slave. And so you have to have, create excess cash. You gotta create investments that work for you while you sleep. While he's sleeping in this house that he bought in 1958 for probably, I don't know, 100 grand, he's, he's, uh, his businesses are generating, you know, 20 billion dollars a year for them for them and you can re replicate that on a small scale you don't have to do 20 billion but you have to learn how to self-educate yourself don't get stuck in the financial matrix tomorrow 18,000 of the world's top investors about to go right there this stadium people come from around the world and basically I try to go every year it's the Berkshire Hathaway Warren Buffett Bill Gates Charlie Munger their annual meeting and the interesting thing is uh, this is all the stuff they should have taught us in school. You can come to this annual meeting and learn more there than you learn in two years of school because one of the things they forget to teach you in school about investing money, which basically means you're going to be a salary slave for the rest of your life because the true definition of investing is making your money work for you while you sleep. That's passive investing. Active investing or you know, getting a job is where you t invest your own time, your own energy, your own money into making more money. But the problem is you and I run out of energy. We run out of time. So one of the things they talk about here is how to become an investor. A true investor is a passive investor. You take some of your money. Hopefully you save a little bit of money every year, every month, every paycheck. And you put it into something that makes money for you while you're sleeping. Use other people's energy, other people's time. Your time is limited. Your energy is limited. Your income is always, if you only have income from your own occupation, then you've guaranteed to limit yourself to how much time and energy you could put in. Most is 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days. That's the most if you don't take a day of vacation. So that's why the world has become enslaved financially. You got 1.2 trillion in college debt just in the United States. It's not counting credit card debt. That's not counting you know, long-term debt, mortgages, things like that. Some debt's okay, but not when you're a slave to it. Trust me, the school system, by the time they figure out to do this, it's gonna be for your kids and grandkids. It's too late for you and I in terms of what we learn in school. So you gotta replicate the school system, but in a way that's advantageous to yourself, which is basically what they should have taught you. So they omitted all kinds of stuff. They kept history in, and I love history, but they forgot investing. You know, they kept grammar in, but they forgot investing. What about the grammar of money? You know, I don't know what the hell's wrong, but I've learned you could only have a revolution for so long. You can only fight so long. Sometimes you just gotta create a side reality, a reality where you educate yourself, where you pick up books every day, or at least once a week, where you listen to videos, where you go to conferences, you go to seminars. You, got, you know, I practice what I preach, or I try to. I try to read every day something that's going to benefit me in the long term that's another definition of an investor somebody who invests for the long term an investor is not a short-term horizon person and the reason most people would rather watch netflix than read a book is because netflix feels good in the short term but has no advantage in the long term i try to build businesses i invest in them for the long term sometimes i buy them but i usually build them from scratch i use my time my energy but it's for the long term so that one day while I'm sleeping, I wake up and I'm making 50 to 100 grand a day. You know, my businesses are while I slept. And not everybody has to get to that level, but a great little goal for yourself, write down on a piece of paper how much your monthly expenses are for your current lifestyle or the lifestyle you wanna live, divide it by 365. So if it's, you know, 50 grand a year, divide that up, figure out a way to how to make 50 grand a year uh, with passive investment, investing in other things where it's not just your own time and energy. You know? So it can be the stock market, which I don't love. It can be cryptocurrency, a new thing. It can be real estate, old school. 
could be businesses. That's what's created the most wealth. That's what Warren Buffett invests into. So there's all kinds, there's four big categories out there that I just named and that's not even all of them. I actually, you know, I launched last year a little test group where I'm gonna teach people, you know, 10, 20 different types of investing they can make. I'll put a link to it. I haven't talked about it for a while just cause I uh, opened the test group and I closed it, but I'll put a link below. If you wanna watch some free training, on different methods of investing. There's people invest in gold. There's people invest in commercial real estate. I like raw land. There's, you know, Grant Cardone invests in apartments. People who love Forex trading, currency trading. People who day trade the stock market. People who buy and flip businesses. Click that link. I'll give you some free training on that. Forget the excuses. Just be somebody who goes, it's now or never, baby. <laughs> That's the best approach to life. You never know what life holds, man. Life's short. And investments take a while to kick in. So the sooner you start, the sooner you'll start to reap the benefits.